Women te tend to protect themselves. With the legs, they'll tend to protect the business. <laughs> See? It's slight, it's subtle, I mean, in a normal woman's walk, you know? So, but with a man, because of the equipment we're carrying, <laughs> right? There's a tremendous amount of up. The passing position is up, right? Whereas on the woman's walk, there's not much. In this case, there was none. <laughs> so the passing position becomes terribly important to tell us the quality of the walk. Richard Williams, triple Oscar winner and director of animation of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, has now combined his best-selling book, The Animator's Survival Kit, with his legendary masterclasses. It was so satisfying. It was fabulous. And he said all he did was... Filmed at Blue Sky Studios in New York, the masterclass is intercut with over 350 animated examples. Ready to go, and then they anticipate, and then they do it, and then there'd be the result. Now available for the first time as a 16 DVD box set, there's never been anything like it. The Animator Survival Kit Animated. Richard is the link man passing on the secret of the masters of the golden age of animation to the present generation of animators. I've been so privileged. I realized, God, these guys have got the principles. I want the principles. I don't want to drink their bath water and, and, and dress like them. And I don't want to be them. I don't want to steal their shoelaces. I want to know, how did he do that? How did you do Monstro the Whale? How the hell did you handle it? And, and, and they would tell you. And, and so I just collected it all. And, and there wasn't anybody else doing it. There was a thing known in, in Warner Brothers, certainly, Ben Washam's 12-frame yawn. He, when he first came into animation, he was a good drawer, and he did this elaborate thing of a guy yawning. So he goes, <gasps> you know, and, and Ben did 12 drawings. You know, shoot that on 12, I mean, that's 12 frames. So you get, <gasps> and then shock horror. They then shot it on two, so you get, <gasps> So then Ben learned that the timing is that you do the timing first. How long does the on take? At least two seconds. And then you figure out where to put your drawings and then the spacing, right? I like that he was using the, the old terminology and applying it to what, what we do now. And I think a lot of the computer animators really found it extremely useful to hear the old terminology and then also discuss about how that can be applied to the computer in 3D. Drawing and uh, doing it in the computer is a very different thing, so, but I'm certainly going to try all those things because I think it will add so much more to my you know, ability to animate, so I'll try everything. People the first night sat down at their, at their workstations and were running some of Richard's examples and you could see the influence 
At lunchtime, you can see the influence. Takes. <laughs> you know, takes or double take, you know, or, or triple take. What I came out with was a complete kind of restructuring of how I thought about animation, how I th saw animation, how I analyzed motion, Richard's technique. It was one of those experiences where for a day or two, your mind just gets shuffled all up and you're not quite sure where you are. And you, and, and you wonder, well, where's he going with this? What's going to happen? D do I need to know all these details? And then there was a point in the course where everything just everything aligned and all those things all the things that I knew about animation and had thought about and made up for myself and taught other people kind of floated around for a minute and then recongealed and it was it was a revelation I think Dick's generosity, uh, after all he's been through, you know, when he talked about standing on the backs of others to, to get to this point, um, you know, his generosity to give this to us at this stage is amazing to me. And it, it comes through in everything he does and, and says. I, I just was overwhelmed with that. Somebody's going to thump the desk. I'm going to go up like this. I'm going to I do it here. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to smash the desk. So as I'm in a normal position here, I'm going to go up. I'll draw this out up this way. As this hand is coming up, as the hand is going up, the elbow's coming down. And the hand is still going up, and it's getting ready and then, bam, with leading out drawings in the middle. Because sometimes of the rigid models and structures inside um, on, on a computer character, they would never think of breaking the joints. That's, it would seem wrong. But because Dick said it was okay, now they'll do it. <laughs> going to improve my work dramatically and make everybody happy. <laughs> I was just like floating around for a week like you know you are enlightened you go to the top of the mountain there to you know meet with the the master as it were. Do it do it do it do it do it now do it again it, it was fantastic. It's an excellent class if the tape comes out buy the tape buy the book <laughs> I'll buy a couple of copies myself. Animator's Survival Kit will be available as a 16 DVD box set at www.theanimatorsurvivalkit.com. The Richard Williams Animation Masterclass was shot at Blue Sky Studios, New York, and edited at Ardman Animations, Bristol.